Hello folks, welcome to the Village Clockmaker. I'm James. It's been a while since I've put a new video up. Old age is catching up with me, I'm afraid. But uh, we're back. And uh, the last one we were doing, we were talking about making a gathering pallet for a, uh, for a carriage clock. And uh, we had that down to... Uh, this position right here remember we we made that right we, we milled this we milled that side and this side and then that's as far as I got I'm trying to get it in focus that's better you can see that so since I saw you last, I've drilled the hole in the end of it, and I've done some filing on it, but I need to, uh, and I cut it off. I cut it off at the end of the, of the stock. So uh, and I'm going to show you how to uh, finish it up. This will be a short one, but uh, I do want to do that. Okay. Uh, there's our piece right there. That's what we're working with. You can see how small it is. Now we want to file that a little more. Uh, I could have done it all, but I wanted to show you this, this little trick. Um, so, what we're going to do the question is how are you going to hold that because it's so small so you find yourself a collet pin and uh, you put it through the hole like that cut the end off Leave about eighth of an inch. Okay. Get a bench block. Like that. This is so small it's really hard to work. Find the appropriate hole. That one will do. Okay. And tap that down. So you've driven, you've now driven that, get the light better, you've now driven that gathering pallet onto a, a collet pin, okay? Now, find the right pliers, bend this Grab it right about there, right? And bend this over. Bend it down to almost 90 degrees. There. Now, you can go over to your vise. I'll have to, I'll have to move the camera, I forgot. I'll be right back. So you've got this tiny little piece right there. That you can now put in the vise. And the pin and the bottom leaf of the there. The pin and the bottom leaf of the gathering pallet will hold that. Let's see if I can get it a little closer. There you go. 
Okay, that's how you hold that tiny, tiny little gathering pallet in the vise right there. Now you take a file with a dead edge on it. This has no, no teeth, no teeth on that edge, and we can uh, we can get in here and do a little bit of touch up. It's just a finishing touch because all the rough, rough stuff got done. Okay, I'll turn it over and do it the other side and then I'll show you how this is used. Okay, we'll do a close up here of putting this in and then we'll uh, back off so you can see where it is in the actual clock. If you twist this, you can take it off. Come on. There. Um, if you notice how it's shaped, uh, this side is flat. No, I'm sorry, this side is round, and the other side is flat, right there. And then the opposite is true on this side. This side's flat. And the back side is round. So that goes on what's called a gathering pallet arbor, which is right here. And you have to be sure you put it on the right way. The flats, the flats go toward the uh, rack. So small, it's pretty tricky. It's it's a friction fit. Um, originally, the hole in this was square. And it fit on this arbor, which is also square. Uh, frankly, I haven't figured out how to do that. <laughs> how do I put how do I put this square hole in here? But I find that uh, the square arbor into a round hole here, if it's pressed fit on, it holds it very very well. And if you have to, you can put a touch of Loctite on it. But uh, uh, I haven't found that to be necessary. So let me move the camera again, and we'll uh, set this up. Okay, there you can see how that works. Lifts, uh, oh, I got it on backwards. The flat side goes toward it, toward the uh, teeth of the of the rack. Uh, but you, other than that, it's um, it's fine. I'll, I'll turn it around before I'm done. But I just wanted you to see it. Okay, and it has to be. When it stops, it can't be in the way of those teeth. It has to be up. It has to be up like that. Okay. Okay. That'll be a wrap on this part two of making a gathering pallet for a um, French carriage clock. Uh, I've got some other interesting uh, videos coming up, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and uh, like, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.